Okay, we're gonna continue with our talk about respiratory. I have here for respiratory issues, you can use slippery elm, one teaspoon. You can use licorice root powder, a quarter teaspoon, and you would mix those in warm water. She said, application to the body is how Barbara teaches. So she wants us to truly understand how different things apply to our body, how our body works. All right, she's talking about asthma. She says, breathe through your nose. We get more oxygen when we breathe through our nose. And, and she says, this is kind of crazy for people going through an asthma attack. But she said, if you hold your breath, it will increase the carbon dioxide. It raises that carbon dioxide when you hold your breath. And that's a bronchodilator, meaning it will relax the smooth muscles. I also have a note here. I'm going to spell it for you. It's a special kind of breathing. It teaches you a method for asthma. It's called B-U-T-E-Y-K-O breathing. The inhalers that so many people take for asthma actually reduce your lung capacity over time. Another deception, friends. Celtic salt, back to that Celtic salt, may relax bronchi. And someone must have asked her a question again. We're back to the slippery elm with a little bit of licorice root. So she's combining those two together in warm water. She also says the cold and hot. So the cold and hot compresses for asthma can be so beneficial. You would lay that on your chest. I have a note here about a book, Healing Limes. And I think I mentioned this one before. It's like the only book I wrote the author down for. Stephen Herodi slash Bruner. And someone, and she has here, what about pollens? This is kind of enlightening. When the diet is changed, allergies can go away. Think about that. And back to the golden seal. You'll see how all of this stuff just kind of keeps moving around from thing to, from place to place to help us with different ailments. But the golden seal with coconut oil can get rid of staph. Golden seal in a tablet for allergies because remember, golden seal is the king of mucus, right? It gets rid of that mucus. Three tab or one tablet three times a day or make sniffers like I talked about. And I really think it's helping me. I've done it for three days in a row. So I take a straw and I have a little bit of the golden seal powder in the palm of my hand and I put the straw up my nostril just, just in a tiny bit. And I'm telling you what, just put a little on your hand because the one time I did it and I really, man, you can feel it on the back of your throat immediately. So just sniff a little bit of that golden seal. It's kind of amazing. I'm getting excited about that one. She says again, for breathing difficulties, eucalyptus oil in a nebulizer is really good onions with your sock so um and then so you're gonna put the onion on the bottom of your feet and she said onion will not burn your feet garlic she said you don't want to put directly on your skin but the onion's fine you put it on the bottom of your feet keep it on there with a sock and then use plastic wrap overnight to clear the chest there's another book she recommends called stop alzheimer's somebody must ask her a question by dr fife f-i-f-e and here's something, but I'm like, eh, we have dogs in our house. She said, anyone with cats and dogs in their house will have parasites, 100% guaranteed. Here's another thing. She, re, she uh, never advises having your tonsils removed. My tonsils were removed when I was two years old. So, you know, another deception, friends. That's a part of our body that God put in our body. She said, our tonsils are the watchmen at the gate. And if we have our tonsils, that is one of the first signs that something is amiss with our body because they will let us know. They will swell. Again, we're kind of all over. She said the COVID vaccine is a totally different thing. And this is not to instill fear, just to give you an awareness if you've had some different things going on. She said, you know, many times there's that thing that breaks the camel's back. And she said, COVID, you know, when people got sick with COVID, that could have been the thing that tipped the scales to a decline in your health. It was just a timing thing. Magnesium can help with acid reflux, as can the slippery elm I just talked about a little bit ago. Magnesium citrate, according to Barbara. Oh, and um, regaining your taste. A lot of people from COVID have lost their sense of taste. Zinc revives the taste, our taste bud. She said... It's in pumpkins, sesame seeds, 
Initially, you can take a zinc supplement. And I just have a big note here, lose taste from COVID. You can help that. Dry eyes, this is what I did. If any of you follow me on TikTok, I tried the castor oil. She said, castor oil two times a day or in the eye, you can put it in the eye. And I asked the question, I said, so what if you get headaches or anything like that from using the castor oil? She said, just use it less. Listen to your body. So I had been using the castor oil on my eyelids for dry eyes um, for probably a couple weeks. And then all of a sudden I just started getting headaches and I kind of put two and two together. So I learned that I can still use it, but I'm listening to my body. There's a headache, so something's going on. She didn't necessarily say it was detox, but I think it has a little bit to do with detox, but I just stopped using it every day and I just use it a couple times a week now and I'm a-okay. Okay, so that is it for the Friday morning session. Friday afternoon is the next video I'll do, and that's going to be about exercise for life. Okay, guys, chat later. You know what to do. Drop your comments, questions below.